Hello everyone, I'm Srimanthi and I'm currently working as an ML engineer. Today we are going to dive deep into an awesome machine learning project which is going to be deployed from end-to-end. -end. As you can see right here, this could be your first step into MLOps. Um, though this is like a very basic MLOps, but yeah, this is, uh, this, this is a project that you can actually deploy. Okay, so let's get into it right away. I'm dedicated to teaching you ML and ensuring that you land an ML job as soon as possible. So without any further ado, let's start. Um, so we are going to actually use Streamlit to deploy our project. So Streamlit is actually an extremely cool way to uh, make web apps like in a, just a few minutes, all in pure Python, and there is no literally front-end experience needed. I'll, I'll show you, this is like the best thing that you can do. Um, just install Streamlit. This is very important, pip install Streamlit. And I'll show you how we are going to use this and import Streamlit and this right and this comes up. This is, as you can see right here, this is amazing. Read CSV and then draw the line chart. As you can see, this comes up here without any kind of front-end experience needed at all. Okay, so we're going to use this to deploy our first machine learning app. So let's do it. Great, so first, as you just saw, we are going to import Streamlit as ST. What we're going to do basically is basically make an app which shows house prices, house price prediction app. So there you can just give in any kind of input that you want. First, you're going to train the data and then you're going to give in any kind of input that you want. And it will give you the output along with the graph, show you the graph and where the point exactly lies. So it's going to be very fun. Trust me. Okay. So the next thing is definitely importing NumPy and importing pandas. This you can do just blindfolded. Now we're going to generate some house data. So let's just say number of samples is 100. Um, let's decide some seed, random dot seed. I don't know, let's say it's 50. Next thing is size. This is going to be a very simple app. We just want to finish it in 10 minutes so that you have an idea of what to do and you are, and we are not wasting any time. Um, so let's do that right away. NP dot random dot normal. We are going to use a normal distribution. Let's say the mean is going to be 1400. And then we have the sigma, which is the variance. Let's say it's 50. And then the n samples, the total number of samples we are going to generate. Size. So we have got the size. Now we have the price. So we just, we are doing just a simple, very simple linear regression where the price is dependent on the size and it's a linear combination of size. And we are going to actually generate the data set like this. Size into 50. And then we are going to have some noise, definitely, because obviously otherwise then it's a straight line and we have nothing to do. We know exactly. So let's have a mean to be zero and a variance less this one. And this one could be the total number of samples. So we now we got size, now we got price. Now simple, we are going to just return the data set. Um, PD dot data frame. As in size could be size and price or the target would be price very simple uh we have got pandas numpy everything is being used sounds great now what we're going to do is draw the basically the linear regression app yeah so what we're going to do is now here is train the model so let's train the model let's train the model so what we're going to do here is obviously generate the house data so let's say it's a df the data frame so we are generating house data you can also use any kind of like csv online as well so that's up to you um and samples equal 100 so we have the df which is generate house data samples total 100 now we are going to get the x which is going to be df size and the next thing is y which is going to be df price now we're going to do is x train test split x train y train x test y test this is going to be um okay so now we're going to use this train test split okay so now we're going to import the train test split from scikit learn so sk learn dot model selection yep import train test split great now we're going to use also metrics Matrix import. We're going to mainly use mean squared error, which is the better one. Um, and another one is the model. Basically, we're going to use linear regression. So let's import that. Sorry, linear model import linear regression. Now we have got everything. Train test split is going to be x comma y. Um, and also I think we would need the test size to be let's say twenty percent. 
Okay, so I think I did a mistake here. Uh, this is going to be X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Very important. Uh, often you, you can make mistakes here, but try to remember this. It's very important. Make a note of this. So first is X train, then X test, then Y train, then Y test. Great. Sounds great. Now we have got everything. Now we are going to just use the linear regression and then just do model.fit. X train, comma, Y train. Great, amazing. Uh, now we have got our model. Now we have trained our model. Just return the model here. Now this is the actual um, app that we have. So first thing is definitely just do a uh, right here. That simple linear regression app. The house prediction app. House prediction app. Uh, maybe we can not write this as right. Let's give it a title. And the right app could be um, put in your house size to know its price. Exactly. Now what we're going to do is train our model. Definitely train our model. Now we've got a trained model. Now the next thing to do is basically take in the input. So let's take in an input, st.number input. Let's give it a um, value in the field. So let's say it's going to be house size. I mean, we know it's house size. Min value would be, I don't know, 500. And maximum value can be um, 1500. And, oh, not even 1500, let's make it 2000. And our um, default value could be equal to 1500. So now that we have got the house house size as the input, now we are going to do is basically, let's see, st. So we're going to have an st dot button, which is going to be like predict the price, predict price. So what is going to happen here is basically when we click that button, so we are going to have the predicted price. It's going to be model dot predict. Let's put in the size. Yeah, so this is going to be in a variable called size. Let's put in the size. We have got the predicted price. Just normal ST dot success. Yeah. Predicted price. Perfect. Now we have got the predicted price as well. We are going to plot the thing as well. Let's do that. Generate house data as well. And now we're going to plot this house data and exactly show where our um, size and predicted price lies. So for plotting right here, we're going to not use streamlit because it's not going to be very good looking. So we are going to use plotly. Plotly dot express as px. Sounds good. Now we are going to use that. Um, what we're going to have is here big equal to px dot scatter. We are doing a scatter plot scatter. So this, this basically can take the df exactly. So x equal to um size, y equal to price, and title is equal to um house price versus um i think size versus house price this looks very good like this is the figure that we're going to have they're going to plot now we also want our own um our own point that got predicted to show where it's exactly in this um in this line so what we want here also is that we want to show our predicted price where it stands in our data that is why this is very important. So we are going to add the marker and show it separately so that we are able to see that. And you know, the app looks good. And just do we already have a, a function here in ST that is streamlit.fig. Amazing. Now we just, add, just need to run the main function. And the simplest way you all know this, I guess, equal equal main, main, perfect does look correct so let's run it okay so now we're going to do the standard thing run mean dot by um so now as you can see right here put in your house size to know its price house size is 1500 let's see predict price as you can see right here this is the line and this is our point which is getting predicted perfectly and the estimated price is this so this can actually be an amazing app this is now in your local host true but you can simply deploy this. Um, yeah, and for community, it's always free. So just deploy now. It has to be pushed to GitHub first. Yeah, so you can do that. Uh, it's very simple. Just 
um, I'm already in my main repository. So you can just push it to the main repository and then deploy. It's as simple as that. And yeah. So your GitHub directory should look like this. And this requirements.txt should have these in the file. So, and then you just need to do one thing. Yeah, just go over to the Streamlit Cloud app and create and click on create app right here. So then it will ask you to connect to GitHub, connect to GitHub there and just simply click on this option, which is deploy the app using GitHub. It will ask you your repository URL, the branch, main file path, and app URL, which is optional. And then you can simply click on deploy. So that's it for today. I hope you understand this thoroughly. This is very important. This is actually an end-to-end -end deployed one. You can just need to push to the GitHub and deploy it. And then your work is done. So yeah, all the best. Let's go on to the next project. And meet you soon in the next video. Take care.